Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Wait a minute, is there a way to see what the... Let's, let's go to Grants a minute. What Grants... Oh, there, right. Administration Center was completed at 10000 for that. Advance payment and then completion payment. Advance and completion... I see, right. So, Prison Maintenance... Unlock maintenance, unlock cleaning, unlock groundskeeping, hire a foreman, two janitors, and a gardener. I could do that very, very easily because I've already got most of it. All I need to do is unlock a few things. So we go prison maintenance right there. I do that one a minute. And staff well-being. Build a staff room. Have at least five guards without assigned duties. Ensure nobody is... E Exhausted, so I'll take that one as well. I'll get 10 grand once I've done it. So I gotta unlock cleaning and unlock groundskeeping. Groundskeeping, cleaning. Psychology would be a good one. We get land expansion, authorize you to purchase neighboring plots of land, thereby expand the size of prison beyond its initial bounds. We get tax relief. That's 10 grand for tax relief. We won't do that just yet. Prison policy. It's probably one that we want to get. I won't worry about it for a minute. So I've got those two busy being taken care of. And then we'll be able to hire some janitors and some things like that. So let's uh, tick things along a little bit. Like this. Unlock cleaning through bureau uh, bureaucracy. Five prisoners are arriving in an hour and a half. We'll put that down to play speed. So I can see these prisoners coming in. Right, one minute. Prisoners should be turning up. Have I got anywhere that they can come in? I've got a ho I've got a holding cell here. Have you noticed? Look, all the doors suddenly closed. There's the prisoner bus turning up, and here are the new prisoners coming into the prison. They come into deliveries there. Collinson, Dylan, Russell, Swatton, and Mackenzie. They're all in here. They'll bring them in. They'll come in through the large jail doors right there. Now, how are they going to do this? They're going to bring them in. They're going to walk them in one at a time. So these dudes just kind of sit there and wait before anything else happens. We've got to unlock... Um, I need two janitors and a gardener. Staff. Gardener. Janitors. One, two. Grant completion, $5,000. So they're going to go around and start doing a load of cleaning. I've got these are being led into the prison. 500 at the moment. Guards cost 100 per day each. So if I get a guard, two, three, four, five. Well, that's less than that. I got 10 guards at the moment, but that, that definitely went down by a little bit less than 100 a day. So I'm not quite sure what that's all about. Anyway, here we've got the holding cell. We've got five prisoners coming in per day. Feed the prisoners. I've got a kitchen. I've got a canteen. I've got cooks up here. So we want to have a look at the regime. Sleep, free time, eat, and eat. Don't they have breakfast? Apparently, we don't have breakfast. Uh, we don't have... Oh, work lockup. It's just yard time, I suppose. Eat in the evening. Right. That bit's fine. I've got nobody up in there at the moment, which is why I've got no lights on or anything like that. I've got staff. People are able to get round. I've got everything that I need here at the moment. I think they should have most of their needs being taken care of as well. So the next thing I want to do is build staff room. To go to quick build. And I can extend the size of the staff room once I've got the basic one constructed. So I've got the canteen up there. Ah, it's because i got nobody up in there. That's why it's sort of blacked out. Now, where am I going to put a staff room? Kind of want the staff room a little bit away from the rest of the facilities... You know, they are able to go and do things there, but you, you do want to keep it a little bit away from everybody else, don't you? 
So should I put a... I can't fit the staff room in. I could actually, I could fit it right here, look. If I was to rotate that around like that, I could put the staff room... I could nudge it right in there. That doesn't seem right, though. And it doesn't seem right putting it out over here. So, actually, right there. That would be the best spot for the staff room, I think. We'll drop that down in there, and that can... That, that'll sort of cross over several of the walls... That's going to build our staff room. We've got the guards. We've got no exhausted people in here. Uh, danger. It's low. Five prisoners say they're well treated. Feed all prisoners. Well, we've got meals up here. And it's soon going to be meal time. I'm going to just let's nudge that along a little bit. We'll go three times speed just for a bit. Um, I don't know what those are. That's, that's normal. That's... I think that's 10 times speed. I, I, I'm sure I've seen somewhere that that is 10 times speed. 1 o'clock now. 1 o'clock should be feed. Chow time is 1 o'clock. There we go. So the, they're going up through. And I've got a path going up there. These guys going in. They've gone up. I've had a bit of chow. They're very happy with that. i got five more prisoners arriving tomorrow at 8 a.m. My staff room being built, and there is my staff room. Almost done. Uh, they're putting the flooring in at the moment. So if I've got the... The canteen is looking good. That's that's working. Do I want to change the size of this one? I've got eight beds in here, so we're going to be wanting to build things up pretty quickly and move this along. I'm also going to want some more footpaths around on everything. Let's go to flooring, go to paving stones, and we'll start off with a footpath down to here, like this. I'm going to put a footpath out from there, like that. That's going to be a single footpath. It's going to go along there. And I'm going to do a double footpath out here, it's keeping it one out from the building. Like that. So you will go down to that point, and I want that one to be the same, keeping one out from the building, like that. So we've got some old footpaths down here that are no longer sort of valid at the moment. And then I want some lights, like this, and I want to start putting some lights around the building. So garden area is queued, I see. And I will put a few of these around on that corner. And I'll do the same over on this corner here. Like that. And this corner. And then that's just the shower block. So, well, I'm not going to put any more lights there. I've got the lights out on that corner. So, I'll do a light either side of the door right there. I'll go here and here, and I'll drop one there and there, although that is a footpath going out that way. That's that's one I'm going to... I'm going to change that footpath. How can I... What, what, what have we got in the way of flooring? I've got dirt, I've got mud, I've got sand, grass, stone. I'm just going to go with a bit of dirt down through there, like that. And let that just kind of be paved over or what have you. And... Hmm. Just wondering if I should change that a little bit. Uh, the, the one footpath that goes all the way around there. Walk speed fast. You know what? We will. We'll put an extra bit there. And we'll put an extra bit there. Even though it's only a single door on it. I'm still going to put the extra bit. And then we can always change our mind and add an extra door into it later on. And then I can go there and there for a bit of extra light. And we'll also go there and there for a bit. And I might as well go around that. I know that I'm putting extra lights in here. Way more than I need. Don't care. That can go into there. So we've got a narrow one around there. Right, this is looking good. I'm liking this. It's improving the appearance of it by quite a bit. The staff room there is almost finished. I don't think I've got very much else. I just want to go to utilities. And I do need to put... The electric cable 
in like that there 10,000 additional monies from grant completion so we're now on 34,000 staff exhausted one staff member is exhausted nobody is resting who is exhausted you have no right to be exhausted you've got everything you need right there in that resting spot right there i suppose it could be the janitor how many janitors have we got? I'm going to need to... Well, we're going to be getting some more inmates soon. I've got five of uh, five inmates and we've got zero. So our prison capacity is a little bit limited. We're going to need to go to staff. No, we're not. I can't do deployment yet. Right. Well, let's go back to the reports in here and go to the grants over here. Build a prison. Feed all prisoners. Regime needs I can't do yet. Programs, grants. Yeah, so I've done... Those four are completed. Prison, cell block A. 20,000 advance payment. 20,000 complete. Raise your prisoner capacity to 15. Basic detention center and unlocked finance. To get that one. Uh, security procedure certification. Common fit poor pitfall at new prisons. The security lapses due to inexperience of staff with the facility. Ensure of no early mishaps and might hurt our record in the future by increasing security to an acceptable level. Hire a security chief. Requires an officer. I've already got that. Hire 10 guards. Unlock patrols through bureaucracy. Assign three guards to patrol routes. Well, that's a nice, easy one that we can get. We've got 10 grand that we've just been given. We'll be given another 10 grand in a minute. And prisoner acclimatization engagement. Having prisoners work in your prison? Laundry, kitchen. Right, we can't do that one. Pay money into an investment fund, which will ultimately give a reasonable return on your initial sum. Objective, wait for funds. Five thousand minus five thousand advance payment, sixteen thousand completion bonus. I undo that one. There, that's just cost me the five grand. We'll wait a bit of time and we'll get that. So security procedure certification. Uh what did I need to do for the secure unlock patrols, assign three guards. So I need patrols in here. I've got prison, labour, education. Psychology is one that I want to get. I'll unlock patrols a minute. And I'm going to unlock psychology as well. That's another one that I'd like. So that I can start seeing the needs of the prisoners. That's something that's going to help. Patrol through bureaucracy is almost done. Wait for funds. We've got to wait for 70 hours in order for that bit to come in. So we'll be wait we've got to wait a little while for that one to come back. But now I've got deployment. Uh, assign three guards to patrol routes. Right, so we'll go into here and assign guards to within sectors within your prison. I can't do that, but I can do patrols at the moment. So I'm going to assign a guard to patrol that area. I've got an area of fence line that nobody can access. I need to change that so that we can access it. I've got a guard assigned up there. I've got... A guard assigned out there, and I've got a guard assigned down there as well. So there's that bit. I've got three guards. Assigned three guards to patrol routes. Now, wait a minute. Assign... Oh! I've got the patrol routes, but I haven't actually assigned anybody to said patrol route. That was a bit daft. I did this in the, in, in the last one as well. I, wasn't act, I didn't actually assign the guards to the patrol routes, which was really stupid. Uh, there's 10,000 has just come in from that one, which is absolutely great. But the other thing that I want to do is I want to be able to access... Well, I can access that area, but I want to be able to access this area down here. So I'm going to go... Walls and doors, and I'm going to put a jail door right on that one so that I can access that bit. And I've got a jail door out on that one so that I can access that. I'm going to go all the way up here, and I'm going to assign a jail door onto that bit there as well. So people 
guards will be able to access the internal area of that. So I've got these patrolling. Where are my prisoners? Uh, has anybody seen my prisoners? Just out of curiosity, is, is, has anyone seen some prisoners running around? I seem to, I see, I seem to have mislaid some prisoners. A anybody? A a anybody at all? I, I don't mind. What on earth has happened? Right, intelligence. Train fee guards become better at tracking and recovering contraband. Supply and demand. Psychology has been... Deployment allows you to permanently station guards through sectors of your prison. Right, I want that one. Prison policy unlocks a policy report, allowing you to increase and decrease the punishments for all types of misconduct, as well as automatically triggering searches. Allows you to control the nutritional policy, changing in quality, quantity and variety of food served to prisoners. We'll take out one as well. So there's another 2,000 gone out for those two. I'm assuming my prisoners are in here, but what I'd like is another guard to be in there to just, like, help patrol the facility. I can remove that bit, and then I could extend this up a little bit and increase the size of the holding cell. I've only got eight beds in there. So I'm thinking an increase in the size of my holding cell would be good. So I'm going to remove that bit of wall right there. Got the main shower block there in the middle. I'm going to leave the main shower block exactly as it is at the moment. Not going to change that one. I got $45,000 right now, which is just fine. I mean, it says that I've still, it still says that I got 5% in here. It says that I've got the guards. But I'm a little bit curious as to what's going on with it. Ah, it's the the fog of war. That's what we've got. Is basically we've got the fog of war in here. So the the fog comes in over, and here's the enclosed, surrounded by walls and doors. I'm just going to press pause on that for a second, and I'm going to go to rooms, and I'm going to go to offices, deliveries, garbage, kitchen, shower, yard, security, morgue, staff room, exports. Holding cell. That's the one that I wanted. I'm going to put that one down there. There. So that is now correct. I don't need to change that. I got room for an extra bed over there. But no, what I want to do is I actually want to extend this one out and up. So the next bit I'm going to do is I'm going to go... No, I'm not. I'm actually going to want to go up there where all of those lights are. I'm going to stand it up like that. No, I'm not going to do that either. I'm going to leave those lights where they are, and I'm going to extend this out like this. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it right there. Right. Let's speed it up a little bit more. I'll let the guards come in. I've got tired guards here. They're, they're doing just fine. I've got some more prisoners incoming in four hours. My workers are doing a grand job up here. And I'm actually going to be able to assign a guard in here as well. Right, any minute now I will be able to assign a guard. So that the, the foundation there has now been finished. Excellent, which means that I can start shunting this stuff around a bit. We can put a toilet right there. And we can also... We can move a few extra things about as well. So we're going to go first. I'm going to go to room here and holding cell. And I'm just going to extend out the holding cell area right there. So that is now classed as a holding cell. Then I want to go to walls and doors. I want to go to brick wall. And I want to put a brick wall like that. Then I want objects, and I want beds. Right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beds all the way along there. And then I'm going to go off there. I'm going to go to deployment, assign a guard in here to the holding cell. I need a guard to be in there at all times in the holding cell. Just making sure that nobody is 
causing any horrible shenanigans and nonsense. Double click to move that one. That one is going to go... Oh, I see. It's going to be up or down on there. I'll put that one there. That bench is going to go up there. Like that. I will put... Let's slow that. I've just had five more prisoners turn up. There's one of them. There's the others that they're coming in. So we've and there's another dude out there. So we've got several prisoners in here. They're doing just fine. I'm gonna move that bench up there so it's the same as the other side. So we've we've got the benches in here and I've got the beds as well. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten beds there, another eight over here. Eighteen beds in this room. I'm not making use of this space over here. Which I think I should be. So we're going to get another bed. That one. I'm going to put that bed there. That makes 19 beds. That makes 20 beds right there. I've now got 20 beds. And then walls and floors. I'm going to put that brick wall there and that brick wall there. And there's one thing about prisons is that you don't necessarily get much in the way of privacy. So, we're putting the toilets in here, just out in public. Right, They've, they're, they're publicly out with the toilets. I'm going to put a TV, just to keep them happy. TV there. Yeah, I'm going to put a TV on there and there, like that. I've got one over here. And I'm going to put another one over here like this. There. So I've got four televisions in there. And we've got beds and extra bits and stuff in there as well. Plus I've got a guard stationed in there, which is going to make life a lot better. Uh, there's another thing that I wanted to unlock, and that is surveillance. I want to be able to have CCTV cameras. And... But that's 2,000. I think we'll I think we'll wait before we get that bit. Unlock utilities in here. I need a pipe to go into that toilet there. And I was told, do not have large pipes under the toilets. I don't know about the showers, but don't have them under the toilets. It's a bad thing. Bad juju happens if you have them in there. So I've got a guard here. I've got one that's patrolling just outside here. And we've got staff in the kitchen. They seem to be doing all right. They seem to be coping at the moment, but we may have to get more staff. I don't know if I need to have someone assigned up in there. No clue about that. Feed all prisoners. Well, I'm feeding prisoners. Oh, I can go and see. I can see their needs. No, I can't. I need a psychologist to repair this report. I should have a psychologist now. I can go and get a prison psychologist. Staff. One, one... Psychologist in there. Blocked. Oh, it's because... Right, I'll drop him out there then. Psychologist's office up there. He's going to go on in. He's going to go up through that first, that main corridor all the way up there. So, should I put a guard... Should I assign a guard into this corridor up here? So that that's permanently open. Because, I mean, like this facility up here. Should we have a guard assigned in here? I'm wondering if I should. Although that's it. That's like a lot of use for my guards. I, there's only so many guards that I've got. Let's, let's, let's not overdo it for a minute. Okay, now we can go back into here. Needs. We're, we're fine. All, all needs are taken care of. It's, it's absolutely fine. Finance. Days without in incident. $49 at one and a half days. Corporate taxes. Total coming in is 4,500 prisoner grant, 1,500, 3,000 federal grant. And then we've got the rest of that. Grants over here. That one's in progress. We've got 56 hours left on that. Long-term investment. I'm not going to do that one yet. That's exactly the same return as the short-term investment. So I'm not going to do that one. We're going to go with cell block A. I need to in raise your prisoner capacity to 15. So I've only got to have 15. We're going to take that one. I've been given 20 grand. 
Cancellation cost, repay the 20,000 and then a fine of 20,000. Completed basic detention center, unlock the finance. Uh, 20,000 advance. So I've been advanced 20 grand. And now I've got to build a facility that will house a load more prisoners. Where am I going to put it? Where am I going to put it? I mean, if I go with quick build over here, I've got a basic cell. An improved cell. Now, they did... Re oh, that's actually got its own shower in it, that one. A luxury cell. That is luxury. That is truly a luxurious cell, is it not? Is that not the most luxurious cell you've ever seen? I think it's wonderful. I like that cell. I genuinely do. Uh, that's the quick build. That's all we've got in the quick build. Let's get rid of that one and we go to foundations... Brick building over here. So that's going to go... No, it's not going to go on the edge of the canteen because I'm going to want to extend that canteen. I actually want the canteen to go somewhere else. I'm going to put a prison cell block here. It's going to go over to about there and it's going to go up to about there like that. So there's the first part of it. Just like that. Then I'm going to take a, a wall and a door. It's going to be a large jail cell, I'm going to, a, a cell, a large jail door, and that one's going to drop into there. So I've got that bit now that they're building it. I'll just speed that up a little bit so that they can get work on, get to work on that. This old tired facility here doesn't really matter, I suppose. Uh, the important bit is that I need to build some extra fence. I'm going to want fence line around this. I've got fence there, so I'm going to build a fence line along there, along the back of that one. And then this one is going to come out like this. It's going to go out to there. I'm not going to go right out to this. Oh, you can only go out to that. So I'm going to go out to... I'll go out to that edge then. I'll take that fence out to there. And I drop it down to there. And I will go in there like that. So I've got that bit. And then we will come along here with a bit of fence. And we'll go along here with a bit of fence. And then we'll go up here with a bit of fence as well. So I've got the same sort of width all the way through. And that one goes up to there. And then I'm going to want to do the same along the back. That's going to go up there. And then I'm going to bring this one along over to here. Taking into account the canteen. And then I'll put a fence down to there. i got a bit of a fence that way. And then I will, we've got one, two, three. Uh, that's four in there. That's, that's wrong. Right. Remove that construction. One, two, three. It's there that I need to go with this. That's got to go all the way down there like that. And then I can go all the way back up. Demolish one, two, three. Back to my fence line over here, which I can remove a bit of in a minute. One, two, three, and then go there. And then that fence is going to go all the way along over to there like that this bit of fence here isn't actually needed then that can go so that was a bit daft remove that bit and also i want to remove that bit and then i want to build a new wall in there instead of that fence like that Right. That's what I want to do at the moment. So I've got kind of these these fences going out round. And then I've got a fence here. So I've got that fence on there. Our workforce is getting a little bit tired. So we're going to let them rest up for a minute. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to go and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.